Hello world, this is Devon Loha from ETC Cooperative, and in this tutorial, we're going to install Hyperledger BSU uh, on a Linux machine. BSU is an Apache 2.0 licensed mainnet compatible Ethereum client written in Java. I'll leave specific system requirements in the description, but in short, if you're going to be running public mainnets or testnets, you're going to want a Linux machine with at least 8 gigabytes RAM, and you're also going to need Java because that's what's required for BSU to compile. So you could just do Java dash dash version. And of course, if you don't have a Java version, um, you're gonna have to install it. So um, just search your package manager for OpenJDK, which is the Java development kit. So as you see here, I'm doing sudo yum search uh, OpenJDK, and they'll give me a list of results. Um, you'll see we have OpenJDK 11, which is the uh, minimum required. Um, and there's also the latest OpenJDK which would work just fine too. So I'll just do sudo yum install java latest open JDK. And then uh, once you do that, just simply follow the installation prompts and Java should install. So after OpenJDK finished installing, I'll just do Java dash dash version just to check if it's installed, which it is. And now that we have the Java dependency installed, we'll go to the Hyperledger BaseU GitHub and click on the releases link. And you'll notice on every release, there's a download link for the package binary. So simply copy the link, to, link URL and go back to your Linux machine and then simply download the package binary. So here I'll do wget and paste that link and just let that download. Now that the binary archive is downloaded, we'll simply unpack the file and take a look inside. And once you do that, if you list your files, you can see that it's been unpacked, so we'll change directories inside it. And within there, you'll notice three files, um, particularly the bin folder is what's going to contain your executable binaries. So if you uh, go inside that, that file, you'll see the executable binaries, which is basu right there. So now if you run basu dash dash help, that should give you commands and uh, commands and options. By running the executable with the commands and flags that you want, BaseU will start uh, syncing a network. So in this example, we'll run BaseU with network equals classic for the Ethereum Classic network. Um, we'll pass the data path flag um, to where we want to store our chain data. And upon running that, you'll start to see the Ethereum Classic network uh, start syncing. If you want to look at the chain data or the key store or logs, you can simply go to the directory where you uh, specified in your data path. Another method of starting BaseU is with a configuration file, which is in a, in a TOML format. So you see I already have a config.toml. So let's just look at the contents I have in mind. Um, you see I just have, I have some simple arguments. Um, but I've also enabled the HTTP JSON RPC service. Um, this, this basically allows you to access the API. So when going back to initiating BaseU like we've done before, uh, earlier, uh, instead of doing BaseU and all my commands and options, I can simply use the um, config file uh, flag and pass the location of my configuration file. And it'll take all the arguments there. And this is cool because uh, whenever I have to make changes, I could just edit that configuration file that I can easily reference. With the HTTP JSON RPC service enabled, I can simply use curl to make a request to return the chain ID. And this is another great way of verifying that your node is running or that you can interact with the API. 
Another method of installing Hyperledger BaseU is via Docker. Simply pull the Hyperledger BaseU Docker image and you'll be able to run it. Now that the Docker image is pulled down, we can run it with the commands we want. Here, I'm running the ETC network and enabling the HTTP or RP, uh, JSON RPC API service. So that starts to, uh, starts to run on Docker. And I'm going to use curl like I did before, just to return the chain ID and make sure things are working, which they are. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, subscribe, and comment down below. To get notified for future videos, turn on the notification bell. Uh, otherwise, until then, have an awesome day.